Hey, apparently the internet says that we're live, so we're live. I'm just Jeff, and with me is my good buddy. Uh. Right. And today we're going to be opening up a gift that uh, Brian and Brenda sent me for my birthday. A lovely lady, that Brenda. Truly. Tremendous lady. Mm -hmm. Yep, one of the best people I've ever met in my entire life, and I can't wait to go to that wedding. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah me too. Good. You gonna do the bob man. colors, or are you gonna go a little different with it? I, uh, you know, I, I like I like a, a simplistic sort of vibe. I'm thinking just black and white, maybe some tasteful maroon. Oh, a maroon uh, with with like a, a, a green felt material Ooh. for her dress yeah uh we'll see and then and I, have, I have a suede suit you know yeah blue suede no no a maroon oh, maroon, maroon. Oh, maroon okay all right you, you know you know the the green felt like color on a um on a pool table yeah yeah that's her dress yeah boom perfect yep i could see that happening i'm with mm -hmm. you maybe a little maybe a little low cut just to you know show off the goods a little bit you Jim, know Jim. Jeff, I am a I am a pure man. Thank you. Okay, all right. I'm sorry. We ready to open this or what? We? You mean you? I'm ready to open this. Okay. okay. Hey, luggage. The legend is here. How you doing, luggage? He's a longtime viewer of my channel. You've had this channel for like two months. Yeah, that's a long time. Yeah. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Diana. Look at all. I posted this in the mom squad. So uh -huh. we'll see if any of the moms show up. We got two of them already. Wow! I, I tagged you in the mom squad as uh, the friend of the show, Jeff oh. Mackley, which is true. Yeah, yeah. What am I building? Uh, he's building up uh, a nice four hundred one k investment portfolio for his future family. Uh, thank you for asking, Pink Wheels. <laughs> so. uh, this yeah, 89 minifigure Batmobile that I just cracked the seal on. So basically, I'm just throwing $250 away. $250. I mean, well, uh, Pink Wheels. Yes, sir. Uh, so I have a Facebook group that I have deemed the Bricks O'Brien Mom Squad. It is a legion of moms that are uh, uh, fans of mine, whose children may be fans of mine, and uh, they all talk. And they all uh, kind of obsess over me a little bit, just a smidge. So I sent it out to that group. You put out the clarion call of come support my friend Jeff. Yes. And they're obsessed with me and a girlfriend named Brenda. Pink Wheels, as a mom, you are absolutely 10,000% more than welcome to join. Let me toss a link in the chat for you right here. Uh, it is one of the only non-toxic mom groups that I have... Um, uh, you know, been a part of. Uh, not that I've been a part of any others, but you know. Uh, wow, a gift from Brian and Brenda. I know, Alyssa. It's it's truly commendable. You know, it was a uh, Brenda's idea. I was uh, hesitant. I was going to flip it on eBay, and um, Brenda was like, "Oh, stop, sweetie, come on. You need to be nice to that Mister McElwee." Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that what happened? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Good evening, sir. And Brian. All right, Brett. Brett Hooper. So not this one, though. Like, I'm part of Brian's mom squad, and uh, mostly just to cause discontent for poor Brian. But seriously, yeah. though, like, I've never met a more positive group of moms than the people that Brian has associated himself with. Like, Yep. They are not like crazy at all. It's it's actually really refreshing. Well, I mean, well, mm, let's uh, yeah. okay. Let's well, go. um, so, pillowcase. I, I mean, yeah, the pillowcase yeah, is a bad okay. one. Oh man, that's a bad one. So so yeah, um, I, I've I've I was gonna say accumulated. I've accumulated moms in this group, and it's not toxic. It's not exclusively moms. Like Jeff is in there, other dads as well. So mm -hmm. it, it, I vet everyone that comes in. So it's no creepers. So. so do you. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I, I approve everyone. I, I look over everyone. Um, it, because some people are like, oh, I've been on Facebook for a year and I'm in 143 groups. And it's like, you're probably a weirdo. Goodbye. So, you know, <clears throat> but most people are like, you know, I've been on the platform 10 years and it's fine. Yeah. 
So, hey, Brian, you need to tell uh, Pink Wheels about your. Uh... All right. Yeah. Okay. So, and then, um, and then we'll get into Alyssa's question about the mask of phantasm, because I don't know what that is, because I'm not a nerd. Um. So, what do you want to address that quickly? I guess. Yes, I do. So, uh, I prefer the Mister Freeze uh, movie that came out uh, shortly after that. It was supposed to be in theaters, but it didn't. It went direct to video. It was a much more adult and grown-up version of Batman in the animated style, and it was way better. It was way more emotional than a cartoon ever should be. Moving right along. So what ended up happening was I, I have a – like there's a few moms that are uh, very – a lot more outspoken than others, I would say. Um, and one of them yeah. has a mother of their own, uh, technically grandmother. So, so the grandson – is a fan of mine. And so what the grandmother did is she ended up making a pillowcase of Bricks O'Brien for her grandson. So the son is a fan. His mother is in the mom squad and the mother's mother made the pillowcase. They She made this pillowcase without the mother or the grandson knowing. So this grandmother not only took images off the internet for Bricks O'Brien, but she also took images of Brian Saviano. So she took pictures of me from conventions. There was one picture where I took a picture with a fan, but it was cut out. So the fan wasn't in it and it was just me. Uh, she took my uh, Facebook profile picture and put it on there. Uh, also put up images of, I believe, her son as well, um, which I, I did not. I, I was messaged about this once the gift was given. The mother didn't know. I didn't know. Would I have consented to it? Absolutely not, but it already happened. So my my actual face is on a pillowcase out there, and it it's one of the weirder ones. So there you go, Pink Wheels. Uh, yeah. Brenda didn't like that one. Brenda was like, I can't believe this woman. She's, she's violating... My my man's prerogatives, and I'm like, listen, babe, it's it, it comes with the territory, as they say in the industry. You know what I mean, Jeff? Yep, absolutely. I hate it when people put my face on a pillow. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. So it's like it's, they're trying to instill nightmares or something when they do that. I don't know. Mm. <sighs> so Brenda Gladstone was a, a lovely lady that you met on Zoom. Is that right? Yeah, so I was actually, it, it's funny because I, I ended up being bored one of these nights after, um, you know, it, working some crazy hours, obviously, on videos and trying not to cry myself to sleep. And I was actually inputting random numbers into Zoom calls, trying to find any amount of association uh, to, you know, communicate with. And it turns out the exact combination that I put in ended up being this this woman who was allegedly on a date looking for some other guy, but but I, I was the guy that ended up taking his place, and I was uh, inadvertently on this date with Brenda, and, you know, after talking and, and kind of mismatching in the beginning, uh, it, it was an interesting turnout, and it, we've been going pretty decently ever since. Uh, we'll, we'll see. You know, we'll, we'll take one day at a time, as they That's say. Right, one day at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they say in AA. You're right. Every once, a, you know, every hour, every you know, one hour at a time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Kevin closes the Adobe Illustrator file of Jeff's face for a pillowcase. I, th I think it'd sell at least two of them. I think you could at least. I think that uh, Deccan Smitty could could make some money for you, Kevin. Yeah, yeah. You, you'd probably sell more Deccan Smitty merch than you would uh, Pink Bucket Nation stickers, probably. Maybe. Probably. You never know. Also, I'm missing a piece. Okay, well, I didn't package that one like build -a bob so that's not my fault. That's fair. Uh, it's a pretty easy... Oh, son of a... Yeah. Yeah. Until Saturday when you get engaged. So this is actually the funny thing. There is going to be an individual that shows up that the lots of people in the live stream uh, have not met because there are so many new people that they're going to be like, oh, Brian, is that actually your girlfriend? They'll be like, no, it's not. 
So that'll be fun to to defuse that bomb. And she's like your sister, right? I, not not like a. I mean, we're we're friends. Not like sisterly. Like we know each other. Like brother and sister. You know, but yeah, you know, she's a friend. Okay, I I do not have the the hots for her. Yeah, that's what I was. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I was saying. Right, right. Yeah. Uh huh. Same page. Okay. Good. Good. Oh wait, Kevin. Two. Oh yeah, two of your images were on that pillowcase. I forgot. So yeah. you could technically go after that grandma for copyright if you really kind of. Well, I mean, I I it would technically be me, but like I'm not. You know. So you could. You could be like, hey, these are my designs. You didn't have. You you know, you're an artist. You could. I like whoever goes after you for your stickers, Brian or Kevin. Go after this grandma who's just trying to give her grandson a nice gift. Well, yeah, but it's also a little creepy. I mean, there's that, but yeah. I mean, what are you gonna do? It's grandma. You can't like tell grandma. Yeah, I can. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I suppose there's that then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did the kid like it? I I guess. He was over the moon. Yeah. Well, see, there you go, brightening someone else's day, and he didn't even have to do anything except be cyber-stocked and then exploited. Dude, you offered leggings on your store. That was not my idea. That was not my idea. So I am merely providing what the people request. Uh, no one, one requested a pillowcase. One person requested leggings, Brian. One, and then one. I sold a dozen of them. So listen, uh -huh. there's clearly power in numbers. Well, no, it, there was one individual who requested the leggings and then it was a, uh, uh, an avalanche would be like the mom's like, Oh my gosh, you absolutely have to have those leggings, Brian. You have to, they're so good. Wait, was your face on the leggings? Okay, so here's what happened. <laughs> here's what happened, Pink Wheels and, and Cindy. So what happened was there was an individual. This individual will remain unnamed for the sake of this conversation, but this individual said that you should get uh, leggings with the uh, Bricks O'Brien mascot head on them, but they are the Mario and Luigi variants. So it, it's like... You know, me, this logo you see talking right now with the green hat and then with a red hat. And it's an all over print pattern. And so I made it and then they sold. And it's an all over print. Pink wheels. It's an all over print all over. So it, it people like them. People, people like them. And I sold them, you know. Um, it's, you know. It's absolutely a thing. And they they do not exist anymore. They are off the web store uh, because the, the Bricks O'Brien brand needs to uh, uh, get get honed in, as they say, as as the chefs have been cooking more things in the kitchen. Uh, you know, we got We got to reel it back in, as they say in the industry, right, Jeff? Yeah, absolutely. Got to reel that sucker back on in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Yeah, pink wheels. The, the rabbit hole. It, it it can go as deep, very deep, very very. It's a lot actually. Like, um, no, no, go ahead. no, no. Go like ahead. the the pillowcase is like bad. Like uh, like leggings and stuff of like not actually Brian's face. Like this is what, right now. If it had my actual face on it, absolutely not. That's creepy. Yeah. So like. Not to say anything rude or even be like that, but imagine a mom my size with Bricks O'Brien leggings on with Brian's face on it. Like, yee. listen, Jeff, whoever wants to buy my leggings and wear oh, them, yeah, absolutely. Like, go for hey, it. But I'm just hey, saying, you know, the, the, the ten dollars of revenue that I make off of it, it's ten bucks, man. You know, that's, ten bucks at a time. Big. That's at least three coffees from Dunks, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, I tried their coffee last week. Yeah, it, it it depends on when they brew it, you know? Well, I was there pretty early because I was one of those times where I couldn't sleep and I didn't really want to go back to bed. 
Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, I stayed awake and was like, I'm going to go get some coffee because the place finally opened. And it was fresh and it smelled great. And then I took a sip of it and then it just disagreed with me. And it was like, we need to evacuate now. So that was well, an that, that, that's bomb. coffee for you. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It doesn't have to be. I, I would not wear Brian's face on my on my butt. Uh, there were other people other than moms that got them. It was not an exclusively mother thing, but yeah. the ones who were uh, very proud of wearing them were moms, and that's yeah. fine. That's fine. More power to them. You know? Uh, Brian's got a very loyal fan base of middle-aged Midwestern women, and you know what? More power to them. Yeah. 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 It was G-Golly, don't you know? Don't you know? Don't you know? Brian, don't you know? Now, there aren't many other people in the Lego community that can say they have as uh, as much of a following, as passionate of a following like that. You know, I, I don't see I don't see Jang Bricks offering leggings or, or Boone Langston, you know? They just can't. <laughs> or don't want to be on that level, you know? I Some people are afraid of that level, Brian. <laughs> I am too. I am too. As you should be. Yep. Yep. Poor Brian. Okay. Not sure what that says about you. Uh, Deanna, it says a lot. No, I, I understand the, the ramifications of releasing the leggings and, hey, you know, people like it. And hey, Brie is apparently not middle aged. If you're over 30, then you're old. It's I'm sorry, Brie. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't want to disagree with Brian, but or agree with Brian on this, but that's absolutely correct. Yeah, you're <laughs> you're just ancient. You're done. Yeah, you're old. Um, yeah. I got used to it. It's fine. You know, one of my good friends uh, calls me old all the time. He even called me dead for a little while, and uh, I just learned to roll with it. Yep, it's it's fine. It's fine. Kevin asking what I had for dinner today. I had a uh, chicken quesadilla. That had, uh, you know, marinated chicken, rice, beans, sour cream, lettuce, and I had a side of uh, chips and queso. It's not too bad. It was did a very like filling cheese? meal. What? Did you get enough cheese? Yeah, no, it wasn't too much. It was it was a good bat. So it was a quesadilla. That wasn't too, it wasn't a, a lot of pieces, but it was two big pieces and they're very filling. So it was very good. Okay. This doesn't sound like Taco Bell. This sounds like an actual restaurant. That you no, no, no. It wasn't Taco Bell. It was actually a place right down the street for me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, I am 30. Am I old? The correct answer is yes, by the way. It totally is, Lindsay. Yeah. Over yeah, the hill. You're old. Yeah. Over okay. the hill. Uh, Love you. Did you like my shirt? Thank you very much. This is for the Bearded Builders Guild. So uh, basically, the uh, top ten of the elite of that. Not really. We're just a bunch of guys to build, and we have beards, so it's fine. Jeff is an elitist builder confirmed. I guess so. Um, you know me. I I hate everything. So. Yes. Yep. Including Bionicle. Man, that was fun. That really was. Very very fun today. That was fun. I was um. You know, I of course knew that you know you're you're working your thing. And you're like you know Jeff da da da, and I was like okay. And I was I was mostly nervous about being like don't embarrass Brian. No, like, that was my one thing that I wanted to make sure I didn't do. So no, I I embarrass myself enough all the time. You you would not embarrass me. All right, everybody heard that. Yep. If Jeff shaved off his beard and Brian got a haircut, who would have the most hair? Oh, so if you shaved your beard, I think I, I might have more hair. Yeah, uh, I think you will too, but I'm never going to shave my beard. So Yeah. No. Yeah, Deanna, so basically what it was, was uh, Jeff asked me a while ago to be on, and I'm like, oh yeah, sure, I'll ask Joshua, and then I forgot. And then after you know doing this for 35 weeks of the same... You know, me and Joshua, me, Joshua Kirk, me, whoever, whoever. Wait, Kirk's there? Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> after, do, after doing that for so many weeks on end, it's like, all right, same kind of conversations. But then 
why don't I involve more people? And Jeff, obviously being one of them, I think was a great addition. And um, it'll happen in future weeks. I have reached out to more people that were on the 24-hour stream to be like, hey, uh, can you show up if you want to? You, you're not obligated to, but uh, you know, I'd like to have more people on there if possible, you know? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I understand that. It was uh it's interesting, that's for sure. It's um received a couple of messages from complete strangers today, so that was kind of cool. Who? You know? Like anyone hating? Hopefully not. No, um, just like one was dude, I don't know who you are, but you are hilarious. Thank you very much for that today. Da 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 da. And I'm like, yeah, okay, sure. Also, I get those messages. I too, so yeah. I never that never happens to me. I just do I just do nothing. Well, I mean, you're not you you're just not funny, Brian. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yep. Kirk has awesome one liners, does he? Does he? He needs to be more involved. I, I know I know he says he doesn't want to overstep or doesn't want to over talk, but like the the thing about it is when you get involved and you're having the back and forth, you don't end up talking over people. You just like do the dance. You don't clear off the dance floor to do your solo. You end up just dancing along with everyone, you know? Yep. Not overstepping. And he, he can be very informed and very funny too when he wants to be, but he gets in the zone when he's building and that's fine, you know? Yeah. I mean... You know, it'll take him two hours to make a robot. Yeah. 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 I think Kevin's saying that it happens to me every single day. Yeah, but not about the quarantine cast. <laughs> no one, no one's like, oh, Brian, you're so funny. Oh, like my rep in my rep within my own universe is obviously very high because I'm the best. Right. But in the Lego community, I'm not like, like, but like, but, you know, beloved like the other guys. I'm just like, I feel like I'm like the, um, not the rogue one, but just kind of like the not, I'm not in the cool kids club, you know? Yeah, I can see how you would feel that way. Yeah. Um, you're, you're wrong, but you know, I could see how you could feel that way. Yeah, but I'm, I, I don't, I don't want to be, I don't want to be, be you don't want to be wrong or you don't want to be in the cool kids club. I don't want to be in the cool kids club. Okay, oh. so Diana. Okay, so some people in here might not know what I mean by the cool kids club. I don't know what you mean by the cool kids club. So, all right. So let me crack open a cold one here, Diet Coke. And I promise you, it actually is Diet Coke because I never partake in any of those other things. It. I don't. I don't do that off stream or on stream rather. That's more accurate. Mm -hmm. So, the cool <laughs> kids club. I. It's obviously a, a fabricated club. Uh, whatever you know, I'm saying, but basically, of the people in the Lego community, there are those that are either more well known or more passionately spoken about one thing over another thing. That the the talk of most of discussion could be, you know, given off by by them. So let's say in the Lego realm, some of the cool kids, I would say that. Like if they were to all sit at a table, if it were high school, they would all sit at the same table together and discuss and blah, blah, blah. And everyone would be like, oh, you know, all, all the, the cool kids um, beyond the brick would qualify for that. But they're not the cool kids. They're not like that. I don't know. Uh, just too good. Basically, he is a, a Lego YouTuber. I think 800,000 subscribers. I forget. But he has a, a little bit of a posse with him. Uh, a creator called Ash and Flash, Dalek Bricks, a couple, you know, a couple of people like that. That they are, they're kind of a click. You can, you can see the circle, and Jeff can even see the circle too, like in, in the the Lego community in general. So oh, don't drag me into this at all. No, I know, but I, I'm just saying there's there's definitely like high school like clicks of like these are the cool kids these are the nerds these are the star wars people but instead we're all nerds because we all just like lego stuff right so that's kind of what it is to me at least but it's obviously again i fabricate it it's not an actual thing you want some real talk right now some real, yes. real talk? okay there are groups of people that uh will look down on other people because they do not share the same views that you do in the lego community Therefore, they will distinguish themselves by being as loud as they can about it 
as subtle as they can about it. Like, say, filming somebody when, I don't know, they've had a really bad day, and they decide just to throw that person on camera after that bad day happened. And then, you know, that guy's the coolest guy in the world because, you know, he lives with his mom and dad, he has a Mustang, and uh, he can just afford to buy Star Wars things because he doesn't know what real life is at all. Yeah, I mean, for that... Instance, for, for instance. Sure. Yeah, not not distinctively saying anybody at all. <clears throat> right. I mean, you know, everybody has their own sort of clicks that they get along with, and I think Beyond the Brick is one of them, and I want to try to pull from as many different... Uh, groups and combine them as as possible because that's how i do things i don't when you look at my group of friends it's very diverse in lifestyles opinions perspectives all around right and i i want to do that with anything i'm involved in you know it's not a hive mind it's everybody has their own unique voice and can bring something different to the table that's very very important to me so that's why like the 24-hour stream was so important to have more people involved even though there's still a lot more that could have been done there always is, but you know, just trying my best and see what happens. I don't, I don't want to click, you know. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Brickham is here. Hey, Brickham, how you doing, bud? Good to see you here. Thanks for joining us. And yeah, good buddy of mine, good Lego buddy. He, Brett, and I did a thing a couple Saturdays ago. It's a good time. Nice. Yeah. So happy to see you here. Oh, I'm trying to remember how to build things, and so far it's going poorly. Well, while you do that, I'll answer Deanna, who asked, would you say pretty much everyone on the 24-hour stream was more of a positive player in the Lego arena? Yes, which is why I personally reached out to all those people and said, hey, can you get involved in this thing? Because it's for charity, and it gives you a platform to have a discussion on Beyond the Brick. Not that it, it That's like the least on the priority list of reasons, but it's people that... I've been in their chats. They support me, vice versa, all the way around. And I, a thing that bothers me a lot is that a, a lot of people see Beyond the Brick potentially as like, oh, they're a big YouTube channel. They're not going to want to talk to me. They're not going to whatever. But like my DMs are open. So if someone who had a voice was like, hey, uh, uh, if somebody had a voice that was uh, good enough and articulate enough to like be on camera and talk about who they are and what they're doing passionately, then I want to be able to showcase them. Not that I'm in charge of beyond the brick, but like, I, I don't want it to seem like the quarantine cast is this, you know, Oh, this unattainable thing. If you wanted to appear on it. So that's why going forward, I want to reach out to more people and get them on like Jeff, like Jeff, Jeff, he doesn't have thousands of subscribers or, you know, a shop or a, he's not Lego media. He's not nothing like, you know, none of that stuff. He's just, he's someone who I met who is incredibly articulate with how he says things and how he does things. And that's why I'd want to feature him on beyond the brick more. And he has nothing to get, like he can gain subscribers from it, but he's not doing it because he wants to, you know, hit it big. I mean, it's not about that. It's really not. Um, I just like building with Lego and it's better when I can do it with friends. Right. And that's what it's about. And, you know, the thing that's important, Kevin kind of brings up the uh, that guy. So I actually realized that he is a uh, a no a well-known figure in the Lego Star Wars community. And he is a moderator for David of uh, Solid Brick Studios. So what I the thing is that it, it's it's not. It's not an open invitation like anyone can show up, but it's it's an invitation that is open to those who I would want on. If that makes sense, I don't know. It's it makes sense. Wording it, but no, it makes complete sense. It's um. So what you're doing right now is trying not to sound like an elitist. So if I'm going to be 100 percent with you, and you're and you don't sound like one, so there's that. But what you're saying is is that hmm, we want the you want the right people yeah. on the show so like people that are people that want to get something out of it like for themselves or whatever you know just keep just keep going you know yeah yeah i mean 
like just, I, just keep moving along. Right. It's more about if if you are able to articulate your standpoint in an informed way and be entertaining and engage with me and Josh or whoever at any given point, then yeah, I would love to have whoever that is on. But if it doesn't mesh, if it if it's not, if you're gonna come on and if you're just gonna talk about you for two hours, or if you're not gonna be like articulate enough with your uh, your point of view, then I don't, I don't, I wouldn't want you on there. There's plenty of people that if we had them on for the discussion we had today about, Oh, what should be approved? What should be not? Someone would just be like, Oh, well, I don't want Bionicle cause it's stupid. Where as we said, well, Bionicle wouldn't work because of a, B, C, D, E. And therefore it's not going to happen. There's a difference between doing those two things. Plus it's stupid. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> but after explaining everything that it couldn't be right it, it's about yeah, explaining yourself yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. you don't want someone to destroy the narrative true and especially in the case of the 24-hour stream i don't want anybody involved that is going to take away from the charity if you're going to be a bad representative for your own community or for the charity or whatever absolutely you're not going to be involved not at all yeah. can't happen yeah. we'll, we'll not allow it and if anything, I want people that are going to be on there that are going to energize people to donate and get involved in the chat and have a good time. That's what it's all about. So do you know why I wore a Zoom shirt today up until I had the timely jelly spill on it? I didn't realize you had the jelly spill, but I'm assuming because we were we were talking about all those classic themes and, you know, Chris does a lot of great work and you wanted uh, to support your friend. No, actually, uh, oh. none of that. Uh, so Chris made that shirt, right? And like got a mm -hmm. All the proceeds that he gets is going to creative for um, uh, creations for Jared for there you go for that. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I know nobody saw the jelly because I, I blanked my screen out. So, and then I came back with this shirt on. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so like people were asking about it, and I was telling them where they can find it, where they can get it, and everything else, simply because it's a good cause. Like, right. and you know, giving some Fazoom, giving Fazoom some attention is good as well because Chris is a darn good guy. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Totally. Yep. Pink Wheels enjoyed my pepper eating stint. Yeah. Did it for the kids, for the charity, you know. And I'm glad I can be able to like laugh at myself in that way. I feel a lot of people in the Lego realm specifically would not partake in things like that. You know, no. they wouldn't, they wouldn't do stuff like that. Not, not for, I, I don't know if it's uh, like, I, I don't want to potentially go down that rabbit hole, but there's definitely too much of the buying of Lego, even though you don't need it and not enough of how can I benefit other people by doing a charitable act. And that's very disappointing to me. I want that to change. That's a steep and, rabbit hole to go down, my friend. Yeah, it is. I, I know um, Beyond the Brick does a 24-hour stream, and I do my own charitable events kind of throughout the year. I try to like, you, you know, funnel, funnel support to things when they mean the most and make the most impact. Yeah. But um, yeah, we need we need to see more charitable, charitable things. You know. You ain't wrong. Um, when um. So when all that nasty business, the riots were going on and everything else and all that stuff was going on, you released a couple of t-shirts and you and I'm going to I'm going to consider this a safe place to talk about what those things that you were representing was was that yeah. you couldn't yeah. necessarily come out and say black lives matter mm -hmm. simply because of whatever might come out with that but that's why you made the shirts to show your support for that and then every dime that you got from that you know, it was when you cleared an easy mid four digits on that went to the to a charity that would help out that organization as well as your pride shirts that you made mm -hmm. and i think that was that's what won me over as like i'm i'm in this to win this like when when until the rails come off like you you have no idea what you've just done but uh basically i'm ride or die so like that well, thank you that was the most important thing for me because, you know, I do have my sister Lex 
to his transitioning. And she's having a hell of a time with it, especially with this pandemic going on. And she was having a hell of a time with it then, too. And I was like, man, not a lot of people would give a crap about that. So, yeah. like, you basically won my friendship through that for the next uh, 100 years. So there well, you go. You. I, I know I wanted to do something mm -hmm. for Pride Month, but also it and then the the. I don't want to use the word conveniently, but the, the, the <laughs> conveniently the uh, nation fell apart and people <laughs> rose up against the machine. So it's like, oh, I'll release two shirts and then we'll split the split the proceeds two ways. And I, I think it was a good variety between someone, you know, if you didn't want the rainbow, which I didn't specifically say it was pride, you know, I'm a straight white guy. So like me being like, hey, this is to. I, I I was I had a lot of conversations with people about like, hey, if I do this, is this like is it would this be fine? Like I'm not overstepping. And they're like, no, 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 you're good. You're good. Don't worry. You're totally good. So well, the thing, man, is that, like allies are needed everywhere. Right. And so I'm glad I actually did that because I, I ran it by a couple of my friends who are in the LGBTQIA plus realm. And I was like, hey, is this shirt good? And then something I would I I would have never found out, but the the skyline on the um, the justice shirt that there were different colors for each of the buildings, and the the colors were uh, different on the O. It was all the different colors of the rainbow. But I didn't know that there's a specific order they should be in for the the pride flag. And I was like, oh, well, all right. I would have never known that if I didn't ask. If I just did it, then. It wouldn't yeah. have conveyed the message the same way. So I'm glad that I did. And even if you didn't want to go as so bold with that, there was the other shirt, which was a lot more low key, the gold, the silver, the, the, you know, the black shirt. And it was really nice. And either one of them, I, both of them performed really well sales wise. So I, I was fine with all that money going to charity. Yeah. So I, and they were just cool looking designs too. I have both obviously. And I, I think they look sick regardless, you know? So can I ask you something about your merch? No. Okay. I'm stewing. No. What do you want? No. 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 Go ahead. Go ahead. No. 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 It's fine. It's fine. It's, no, fine. No, it's fine. You're right. It's fine. <laughs> what? When are we gonna get hats? There is a beanie on the shop right now. I don't want a beanie. I'm okay. not a beanie guy. I want a ball cap. You want a ball cap? Yeah. One second. I got a mute. Um, well, so I did put out a, <laughs> he's doing the thing. Uh, I did put, I, I kind of put together this list of, um, uh, like if I came up with a merchandise launch calendar of kinds, what would that look like? And I'm trying to like, really put like when I, when I do like a, a shirt or something, I want it to be like, Hey, here's the one thing. And like, focus in on that. So probably for a ball cap would be springtime for, you know, going outside, baseball season, that sort of a thing. But I have ideas on what to do, both on like a um, not not just like, oh, let me put my my mascot face on a thing and call it a day, but like other more tasteful things, too, you know. So can I throw you an idea about the baseball cap? Yeah. All right. Thank you. So. Were I you, and I was designing a ball cap, I would have the cap that covers your head black, mm -hmm. a little emblem of this guy, of your little avatar you got going on right now, in the center of the hat, and then make the brim blue on the top and orange on the bottom. I guarantee that every man or woman that listens to your show will want that hat. I, I have a slightly better idea. That I'll okay. tell you about afterward. Okay, and, sounds and cool. I'll, I'll run it by you and see what you think. Oh, you don't so, know. Like I'm gonna be like, Bleh. no, no, no. But yeah. that that's a good idea. But I, yeah, I'll run it by you. Okay, because I really want a hat. Like my car advertises the heck out of you. Yeah. Jeff cannot because you you know fat guy sizes, or maybe I could lose some weight. I guess, but you know whatever. You know what's something I didn't think about, Diana? Mother's Day for something for the mom squad. Oh. Uh. Didn't uh, somebody post a link up for a jacket for? <laughs> no, I can't. I can't do it. But the jackets would cost so much money. I know. So, 
it's a lot like not even for me i would have to charge a lot of money for the sh- for the jackets i know i'm just being silly I know. Ah, it's man, a hard I, stance on that thing, and I was like, "Well, he's got a point," but I can't agree with him because you know I'm me. So right. <laughs> and like, if I if I did a jacket, I'd want to do it really right, like re- like make it like a a whole nine yards thing. Absolutely. Ooh. So I'm not allowed to ask you about Saturday because I already know a little bit about what's happening on Saturday, mm. and I'm not going to. What I am gonna do though is ask: Have you been any to been to any Italian restaurants you didn't want to go to lately? Uh, no. That's good. So, due to the pandemic, I guess you're out of that. That won't happen this year when your friends drag you to an Italian oh, restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> no, no, that's not gonna happen. No, no, no. <laughs> Man, what, what kind of are you getting on Saturday? What? What kind of pizza are you getting on Saturday? Uh, I'm thinking probably. A, a, well, so it's going to be me, Charles, probably and Brittany. Uh, those three, um, you know, whoever else shows up, maybe. But I, that's all I know who would show up. So probably either just cheese or I might get a uh, barbecue chicken for myself or some. Yeah. That sounds fun. Yeah. I'm glad that uh, Brittany is back in your life. I know you two were pretty close for a while, right? No, not really. Oh, okay. Well, no. never much. She, yeah, she uh, is very much her own ship. That uh, she she needs to be dragged out of the house to like hang out. So because of COVID, it's like. I mean, that know. makes sense. I mean, I don't really particularly enjoy leaving the house either right yeah. now. Uh, Deanna, yeah. So Steph was the one who came up with uh, Bricks O'Brien kind of themed or scented candles. That was the thing. Well, it's not like official, not official merchandise, though. But she came up with ideas. Yeah. Jeez. Don't you have a coffee coming out as well, or am I crazy? Uh you're crazy. Okay. Why did I think that? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know. Okay. Derp. How, how far? So, is that what three bags, four bags? This is the third bag right now. It's four bags in total. We're getting pretty close to being done. Mm-hmm. You know, unlike some people, it doesn't take me two hours to build a robot and talk. I am so incredibly slow when I build. It's it's remarkable. Yeah, on camera at least. It, it's always tough on camera for me, unless. <laughs> Yeah, unless you're really focused on the build. Like, I, I get way too caught up in talking. Yeah, well, I mean, you're... Not to sound rude, don't think that I'm saying it to be rude, but you're definitely a talker, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, like, that beach house felt like it was going on forever today when I was doing that with... Cool, my phone died. Nice. Yeah. Just call me Maniac for Bricks, I guess. hey Oh, man. All right. Perfect. You can really point the camera up at your face, and people don't really care. They care about the build, but you know. There you go. There it is. Look at that. Now put put yourself over on the left because that's where the host goes. I don't want to put you over on the left because you're the guest to honor. Oh, all right. Yeah. As my tripod swivels out of control. All right, there we go. So Lindsay says she'd rather hear you talk than watch Kirk build. Oh, yeah, Kirk is building. That's why he's not here. He's doing a stream with uh, Sega. Oh, he is? Like, he was supposed to start that a while ago, and then when I didn't see it happening... Oh. Nope. No, 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 no. Sega. Why is that name familiar? Not because of the Blue Hedgehog. Uh, Sega is one of uh, Joey's friends from the the Joyzy that Kevin is uh, aware of as well. He's very much about buying Lego a lot, from what I can tell. A lot. Yeah. A lot of Lego. Yeah. I remember him. Okay. That's true, Bree. I could just put one of the uh, Bricks O'Brien stickers that Kevin designed right over a Duncan's bag and call it a day. That'd be my coffee. Yeah. To 
a million dollar idea right there. We tried to watch Kirk build the other night. Was done real quick. Lindsay, oh no, Lindsay, oh, no. no. That's that's unfortunate. Is it is it because he's just more mellow, or because he's more involved? Like he, what he does is he builds on camera. I feel like I entertain while building. I don't. I I'm, I have a different approach. You know. Yeah, I mean that's the approach that I try to take. Yeah, we pri- we prioritize the audience and the engagement before the build. Yeah, and I mean the build's great and all, but like, it's a car. Right. It looks like a Batmobile. Right. It, it's like when you go over a friend's house for a uh, you know a game night, and you're really there to just have camaraderie instead of like, oh, we actually have to get through an entire game of Risk. Everybody, come on, let's focus. It's like. Oh. <laughs> I had a friend that did that where he hosted like weekly risk games and I was like, okay. And I always went to them and like by the third hour I was, uh, I was done. I have a friend. So I used to go to game nights every month, once a month Mm -hmm. and they would play games like nobody's business, but myself, my friend, Ricky, Brittany, we don't care to play games. So we just sit there and talk and it's, it's a much better time than actually playing the games. Cause the games are like, you know, just whatever. They're not great games to begin with anyways. So we end up just talking, but one of my friends is very, very passionate about video game uh, board games. And she's the only one of all of us of this, like core six or seven of us. So er- she's always the one who's like, everybody let's play a game. And we're all like, but she's also the one who always gets what she wants all the time. So we're all like, all right, one game four hours later. All right. Oh yeah. I would find reasons to leave. Yeah. We, we sometimes do, you know, the thing is majority vote. We normally are like, yeah, we're done. And she gets sad for a minute. We're like, I don't care. Yeah. Just add vacation uh, juice to every turn. That's true, Diana. That makes it uh, spicy anywhere, anytime. Emily and I have code words for when we need to leave. I feel like every cup those. Yeah, if you don't, you should really look into it. Yeah. It helps. What? What is what is the code word for you? Uh, laundry. Oh, you got to take care of some laundry. Yeah, I go take care of some laundry. Sorry, guys, it's been real, but we got to go. Wow. Let. Yeah. I, tell you a story about the the most the the hardest i've bailed out of a situation (laughs) if you'll allow me of course you do think so a friend of ours and they're not going to watch this so my friend jake has a house up in new hampshire and me and ricky are friends with jake so we ended up going up to his house in new hampshire now, Jake's friends, he has friends that are obviously me and Ricky, but he has all of his friends that he grew up with that we kind of know, but nowhere near enough. And some of them, we have no clue whatsoever, right? So we go up into the middle of nowhere in New Hampshire. There's no cell phones, barely any cell phone service, no internet. Um, the, and all these people are here. The social anxiety is crippling because they are they're from Boston. So they are they know each other. They know their click and that's it. And like, it just doesn't crack open and no amount of vacation juice is changing it. It's right during the middle of the day. They're not opened up yet, whatever. So as it progresses through the night, some people open up, some people don't, but then we discover that the toilet doesn't work. So you have to like manually pump out the, the septic or whatever, whenever you need to use the toilet, And because there's no actual adults there, there's nobody to help remedy the situation because something is wrong. It's just Jake and his sister and whatever. Not only that, uh, you can't take a shower either. Um, And between that, nobody talking to us. It ended up being like, I want to say two o'clock in the morning. We're about two hours from home. And everyone's like, all right, we're going to go to sleep. And this is it. And after all of the shenanigans and all the nonsense that had happened and it all piling up on through the night, we were told, okay, here's your inflatable mattress. Go ahead, sleep downstairs with no pump for the inflatable mattress. So my friend Ricky is gasping air, trying to fill up this inflatable mattress. Now, 
if you've ever done that, you'll get lightheaded very, very, very quickly doing that. You should not do that. And Ricky was like, F it, whatever. I'm going to sleep on the couch. The only place left to sleep because everyone else has taken the beds and everything else. What's on the couch? My droppings. And Ricky's like, I'm done. What do we do? And I said, Ricky, you could say something about you needing a project done for work and you need to go home right now at two o'clock in the morning. Right this second, you could do it. An email came up. He works a very important job. Something came up. Got to go. And he's like, can we pull that card? And I'm like, dude, you absolutely can. And I have no choice but to go with you. And so we did. Drove home two hours at two o'clock in the morning from New Hampshire. Said, oh, guys, man, we just got to go. Ricky's got this email. And they were like, oh, but you could go down to like the, the public library and use the Wi-Fi. No, it's do this project. It's a big, big project. We got to. I got, I got to drop Brian home. Sorry guys. I got to, so that that's what, that's the hardest I've bailed out on something. The mice droppings did it. And this was even before the mice droppings happened in this office too. It was bad, but like leaving, leaving rural New Hampshire at 2 AM bad. That's how, that's how done we were. I don't know. Is that like driving around rural Arizona at three in the morning? Yeah. I mean, at least there, well, you actually can't see what's going on on the sides of the roads. I always get thrown off by like a moose. If a moose came out of the, the woods or something, then you're in big trouble. You're yeah. Big trouble. Are, 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 are mooses a, a serious concern? In New Hampshire, yeah. So basically, if you see a moose, do not antagonize it. They could literally walk over your car and destroy it and kill, kill you like that. Nothing. Like nothing. The moose are so incredibly large and they can be very temperamental. You don't mess with the moose. Just nope. And if you end up, so, you know, being younger, some of my friends were like, yeah, let's drive down this rural road at three o'clock in the morning. Let's do 70. And it's like, okay, but if a moose were coming out of the woods and we hit the moose, the moose would do more damage to us than we would to the moose. So no, no. They are big. Never mess with a moose. And I, I never drive fast in those areas because of it. We uh we just had to look out for meth heads. I mean, that's still bad. I mean. Yeah. Almost as unpredictable as a moose. Almost, yeah. I imagine in South Boston you have that problem uh, more often than not. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's fairly, it's more tame. I yeah, guess. but you know, that's fair. Cody totaled his car hitting a deer in the middle of the night in Maine. It was a 12 point buck. He kept the meat though. <laughs> oh, geez. Yeah. D deer is also another thing. If, if you hit a deer driving fast, you're done. It's totally done. Oh, I'm fully aware of that. Uh, so when I was working for the prison, I, um, I finally got my first new car, like brand new car, not previously owned. I got a Kia, um, not a Sentra, but it was one of those crossovers, right? Mm -hmm. And it had Sportage, a Kia Sportage. And it had all the bells and whistles. It was in metallic black. I had um, like stickers that I had been saving since I was a teenager to put on my car that I own. That's mine. That's flat out. Right. And, uh, on my way to work at five 30 in the morning, uh, I looked down for a second because, uh, I was trying to change music and a moose, not a moose, a deer, an elk specifically ran into my car, totaled the right hand side of my car. Yep. And, and I had to scrap my car. It happened so quick too. Yep. Um, the best part of that was, Jeff, are you coming into work today? No. <laughs> and uh, I worked um, I worked 55 miles from my home. So there you go. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good time. I tell you. Deanna had her transmission on the Santa Fe 
on, on a deer that was hit by someone else and flew under my car. Cops thought I couldn't tell the smoking engine from the gravel dust on the side of the road. Ouch. Yeesh. <laughs> Kevin, that's absolutely correct. <laughs> Terrifyingly so, by the way. Yeah, you, you never, ever want to mess with any of that, ever. Yep. It's life, though. Yep, I know what it's like to get a totaled car and restart. Yep. It's actually been a month. I, I gave myself a month before I um I stopped talking about it. Now now I, I am officially over it, but you know. Still um, come on, that still sucks though. I yeah. Anyway. In a lighter mood, who wants ice cream? I want a sweet of some kind. I'm thinking the most heavily processed food I can possibly buy, just to annoy Kevin. That's fair. Some uh some Twinkies, a couple of ring dings, ho hos. Ooh. Ooh. Go for it. Alyssa wants ice cream. Ooh. What flavor ice cream? We talking? Not Ben and Jerry's. Like like a standard flavor. You know, it's a fun experience though. Walking outside with your wife and son to go somewhere only to discover your car was stolen. Well, that actually happened to my mother when I was a kid. That exact thing? Well, not quite exact thing. My mother was filling up gas in East Boston, and she went inside to pay for the gas, and someone just took the car. And then we found it, like, a, a week later, and there were Dunkin' Donuts napkins all over the car. And apparently the people who stole the car said to my mother that, uh, or said to the cops, once it all got resolved, that apparently my mother uh, lent them the car. Wow. Yeah. So that was good. That was that, uh, East good. Boston in 2000. Brett Hoopa is back. So welcome back, Brett. Howdy, Hooper. Brett I had ice cream for dinner because I'm an adult. There you go, Cindy. Right. Breakfast for dinner. Cookies and cream. Ooh. You know what? I can't find in Oklahoma, and it's really starting to like, kind of grind my gears as far as okay. ice cream goes. A good breakfast place that isn't a uh, Waffle House. <laughs> um, mint moose track ice cream. Ooh, I can't find it. I can find moose tracks, but I can't find mint moose track ice cream. I don't think I have uh, mint moose track up here. So in Arizona, it was my favorite thing. Like, um, so. This is going to get dark real quick, so I apologize. Here we go. Something horrible happened at the prison. I would go to Safeway, and I would buy a pint, and then I would eat it. Nice. Just because I was like, this is much better than thinking about my day. I should probably talk to someone about this. Meh. So, yeah. Ice cream always helps. Yeah, it does. I, I So I'm trying to get myself mentally into this state and it's not working. But I, I've kind of come to the conclusion that I can go without eating candy bars throughout the entire year, except like, you know, during October when it's Halloween time. Like if I just not like yeah. binge on, on candy bars in, in October, but if I just say, okay, October is the only time I'm going to eat candy bars just so I can restrict myself in some way. And I'm starting to feel that way with ice cream during the winter time up here. Like I'd only have it in the summer months and just that's it. Yeah. I don't really. So I know that I'm a big guy and obviously, you know, things that go with being a big guy is food and whatever else. But like, I don't really like candy all that much. Like I'll have it every once in a while. But my big sin, I guess, is when it comes to this crappy food choice is like soda. I'll pound Pepsi all day and not think twice about it. And like, yeah, that's 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 my big hub of blue. So, you know, there's that. Kevin's talking about um, what what's it going to take to make you join me on this health journey? Public shaming is not working. This is true. This is true. Um for me, it's it's come down to a laziness, obviously. B, um, 
try, trying to find the options and just getting the courage to stick to something. And I've obviously not been good about it, but I, on a, on a good day, obviously like I, I don't, if I get McDonald's, I'm not going to get 3000 calories worth of McDonald's. And a lot of the time it may be one of the only things I eat throughout the day. So I try to be a bit more, I guess, economical about it. Like I'm not binge eating myself in that way. Some days are better than others. But um, I do need to get just better about it in general. It comes down to just knowing the options and and whatnot. And I can't I can't cook at home. It just it cannot happen. So working with that obviously doesn't help. But to an extent, that's an excuse. You know, uh, C. Brian is practicing intermittent fasting. Actually, that's something that I do. Uh, I I did for a very long time without realizing it. And I, it works for me where if I eat between an X amount of time of the day and I just don't eat otherwise, like I'm good. But I'll tell you, if I have Oreos in here in the office, they're gone. A hundred percent. They're gone in three days. So I just, and I get that from my mother. So I'm not, just can't, you know. I've had this couple of M&Ms for like a week. Yeah. You, you need to toss those ones. Uh uh-uh. Oh, there you go. So like I, I, I can allocate, like I only eat during a certain time of the day and that's it. No snacks unless I really want them, but otherwise got it. Don't send Brian Oreos check. The The worst thing that, and it really threw me off was during the summertime, the Dickey family sent me a whole bunch of, uh, uh, what's it there? Like, like hostess esque. Uh, what, what are they called? Snack Did cake. It? Snack cakes. Tasty cake. Tasty cake. Yeah. They sent me, like five boxes of tasty cake things along with two massive bags of chips. And I'm like, all of this is being eaten immediately. And it was gone way quicker than it should have been all. And I had no help because no one else is as nearly as big of a foodie as me. So like it was just decimated and I I can't, but if I keep that stuff out, I won't go out of my way to get it unless I'm really feeling hungry for it which is not super duper often, but otherwise no, can't do it. Well, hi. So this ticker is very important, Emily. I would like you to read it. Okay. Just a ticker. (laughs) I'm sorry, Brian. Disappointed. I'm in a relationship with uh, candy cakes. I, Alyssa, I literally should have sent you all that stuff. I don't know why I didn't. I could I couldn't do it. I did do it. I, I didn't want to, but I could I could have literally boxed it all up and just sent it to you, and then they would never know the difference. Like, oh yeah, it all been four days. It's great. Thank you. Thank you. You didn't really eat all of it in four days, though, did you? Like, no. But it was it was a much shorter amount of time than it should have been. Yeah. Didn't they also send you like 30 pounds of potato chips? Yes, they did. Yes. Oh my goodness. Literally two giant. <sighs> yeah. So as long as I don't get derailed like that, then I'm good. Right. Like for a, a while during the beginning of the pandemic, I was doing okay. But no, nah, not now. Well, remember when 2020 happened, everybody was like, all right, it's my year. This is going to happen. Going to be great. Oh, no. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. This won't last that. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, geez. 36 episodes later, we're still here. <laughs> See, what needs to happen, Alyssa, is anytime I get junk food, like, on a whim, and then I have, like, one little taste of it, I just need to ship it out to you. I just need it out of here. I can't take all the chocolate refugees that I have. And my mother my mother loves to buy all of the food that she won't eat, but she wants to see me eat it. So, like, there, there's these, like, all sort like, oh, man, the worst she did was she got me a tin Full of chocolate fudge covered Oreos. Oh God, Dude. that sounds delicious. 
they were phenomenal. Oh man! So was half it of them richer than like normal fudge. I don't. I don't know. It was like so. Half of them were were um were chocolate fudge. Half of them were white chocolate fudge. I don't know what fudge it was, but right. man, those are so Diana. They're dangerous. So I'm like, but I did okay. I was like, all right, if I have that for dessert, let's say every night or some most nights, whatever it is, if I have three a night, that's not bad. And I went through the whole thing in like. 10 days i think or something which is still no well no it wasn't 10 days i went through the whole thing in like i forget i think or something which is still well, there's your echo but there's my echo rather um sorry i was having a little bit of a sound issue we're good now sorry now oh, you're good mom okay. o'brien sounds awesome or is it brick so mom i haven't even thought of that Alyssa. honestly <laughs> She does all that for you, but you won't get her Netflix SMH. Well, I I have Disney Plus, and she didn't ask for that. So, I mean, Disney Plus is the better option anyway. Yeah. So whose Netflix do you steal? Uh, no one. I don't have it. I'm totally honest. I, I have Disney Plus. I had HBO Max. Uh, I'm trying to cut back on some of those things. I'm just so busy making content. I don't have time to watch all these things, Jeffrey. Oh, okay. <laughs> Disney Plus is more my forte anyways. Yeah, you always like the happy crap like that. So Yeah, yeah. I like the goofy cartoons. Yeah, yeah. Like the old school goofy cartoons, like Goofy plays badminton or whatever. Mm. Can't go wrong with classic Goofy. Where are you in the build? Alyssa is inquiring. I'm on step 81 out of... 81? I don't know. We're almost done. We only got like three pages left. and hmm. You know, it's not a robot and I'm not Kirk, so we should be all right. <laughs> I thought this was a brick building stream. You know, your expectations are way too high, Alyssa. I don't yeah. know what this is, but... <laughs> This is a venting about uh, chocolate stream. So sorry. I don't know. I thought I was just hanging out with a buddy and talking about stuff stream. We're friends? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. See, like, you know, a lot of people make this Lego live streaming content. The conversation's always more interesting, man. Yeah. I always. Hey, Brian, what do you think about new set coming out? Um, I think it's good. I disagree. Okay. All right. Passionate words about why I disagree here. Well, that's great, but I'm not going to buy it. Or just kidding, I will, because I buy all the new things. Oh, maybe you shouldn't do that. No, I will. Okay. You should too, Jeff. <laughs> that's Lego content, everybody. I hope you're all happy with it. Hey, hey, everybody. Hmm. I'm probably gonna lose some friends over that one. We well, gonna gonna listen. No, listen. Everybody needs to be encouraged to do better and be more charitable. Exactly, Diana. Exactly. Yeah. I'm here to raid with my bionicle army. Well, all of all of two of you, you and LJ, have fun. <laughs> Is this an art film? <laughs> <laughs> Magical rant about consumerism here. I think I did that already on the Beyond the Brick. Yes, you did. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Hey, nobody gave you heat for it. But the thing is, you know, people. I'm right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. And people, you know, they can't defend themselves. It's like, yeah, yeah you just got to own it. You know, if you want all the stuff, that's fine. If you can afford it, that's fine. But. You know what? I. Yep. Uh, Bree is asking if you could post a picture of the final product because apparently her son will not go to your your son's watching this. Aw, oh, Bree. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, yes. He will post a picture. I will make sure he does. Absolutely. Absolutely. What am I doing? You're posting a picture of the Batmobile to the mom squad. Oh, is oh to the mom squad? Okay, I can yes. do that. Yeah, no problem. 
you know, so, yeah. compared to how this usually goes on my my esteemed channel of um, Victorian values, this isn't too bad when it comes down to it. Yeah, because everything I'm involved with is great because I'm the best. Well, I was talking about how usually I curse a lot and uh, oh. go into rants about things that uh, nobody likes. Oh. Yeah. I thought you meant like improving the overall quality of the stream. No. Oh. Apparently, Bree's son watches something Brian related every single day. You know how, you know, there, there are so many people that I grew up with that would think you're insane by saying that. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's just, I, I don't even I, want to. I, I think that I don't even want to deal with myself. How does your son watch me? How Brian, you are a good role model to youngsters. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, I will say, yeah, by comparison, at least. Oh, absolutely. By comparison, 100 percent. And in my own right, too. I'd like I'm, to think I'm not an awful person. Chat, what do you think? Lindsay, what do you think? I want to hear from Lindsay Fecto personally. What does she think of me? Lindsay, this is a safe place. <laughs> this is a safe space. Yeah, safe space. Al Alyssa wants you to turn that into the Joker mobile. Do you realize how much work that will take? No. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lindsay said, oh, God. Oh, God. This is a... Uh... Oh, well, you can't go wrong with a Batman castle. Yeah, there you go. I mean, everybody wishes they had a Batman castle. I am um, kind of. I wish I had a Batman castle. Uh, you hide a lot of your actual self because you are afraid of what the moms will think. What? You do. What? Do I? Yeah. What do you mean? Brooks O'Brien is a character. Brian Saviano is a separate entity. People don't know. No, no it, Bricks O'Brien is who I, I wish I was more often. I just channel all the energy. I miss the other guest who was on here. Literally no one listens. It's just me and Jeff. Jeff. No, I invited a couple people, including Kevin Hinkle, and he didn't show up. Yeah, he's a Fairweather fan. Yeah, Fairweather friend, Fairweather fan. This is a pretty dope set. Yeah. Yeah. You could have kept it sealed and flipped it on eBay for a nice penny. Sets don't need to have that happen. True. Sets need to be built and admired and played with. Are you going to do like the room sound effect around your office now? I mean, I did before. Oh, there you go. There you go. You know, I actually have... Um, the big Batmobile that Big D gave me to like do as a giveaway or, or a raffle or a charity thing or something. It's been sitting here for like literally four months. I've, I don't know what to do with it. I mean, we could have a contest or a trivia contest one night. Imagine if I did a Bricks O'Brien trivia contest. I think I think people would get like stabbed. They'd stab each other for it. I'm pretty sure London would uh, kill somebody. I'm but... pretty sure Eli would kill someone. Well, yeah, Eli is a lot more dangerous as far as the fans. Mm -hmm. Like, Eli is like, I'll stab people. Get out of my way. <laughs> and, like, it's not even, like, a like a very fearsome tone. He's just very, like, no, 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 I'm going to stab someone. Uh, there, he <laughs> there he is in the chat. There's Eli in the chat. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Right, he's saying it. Alyssa said she'd win. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, that's perfect. You could Oh, perfect. Perfect. Hi, Eli. Hi, Eli. So this is the mock. <laughs> and this is the actual model. That's pretty good. So did you make that from your own mind or based off of, obviously based off of the mini model, but. Based off that, I looked to it for inspiration at times and how to do certain things. But yeah, this came from me. Very nice. Thank you. I oh. like the... Uh, uh, so what you could do even is if you swapped out the model with uh, the mock and you could put the mock on the stand, the swivel stand. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to put this in the bat cave. So. Yeah. Uh, can you show off the actual one again for Classic Bricks? Yeah. 
Let me put you full screen. Okay. So people can see. That isn't what I wanted to happen at all. Mm -mm. Nope. Uh, nope. Oh, hi. We're fine. Everything's fine now. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, here it is. Um, in all its glory. It's a really solid build. It was a lot of fun to build. Um, 1989 Batman uh, has a classic place in my heart. Uh, my dad took my niece and my cousin with me, with us to go see it in San Diego at a mall. And uh, it was the last day of first grade for me is when I went to go see it. When I got home, we went to go see it. And um, that was a really cool day. That was... Um, that was just a good day all around, actually. Uh, my cousin Jasper passed away a couple of years ago, and uh, that's one of my favorite memories of the three of us getting together and going to do do that. So, yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, and that's I'm why it that meant a lot to me when you gave it to me for my birthday because you don't you didn't know that story, and I you know I don't really talk about that, but like. It's one of the best memories I have from childhood. So thank you, Brian. You're very welcome. I, I knew that you would uh, really appreciate it. And that's when I like giving gift the, gifts the most, not because out, out of obligation or because somebody else, uh, you know, gives me a gift or something. It's because, you know, I find something, I come across something and I know it would mean that much to someone. And, you know, when you wouldn't, keep quiet about the Batmobile for, you know, uh, the surface level reasons. I'm like, oh, this would be cool to give them. So yeah, there you go. Well, I think I talked about it for a straight month and a half, right? You, you did. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, and you didn't know I had it either. I no. just, I was just trying to build this. Like I was, I, when I was ranting about it, I was, I was talking to you about it and I was building it at the same time. And like looking at this and then looking at that. It's pretty close. I kind of like my details a little bit better, if I'm yeah. going to be honest. But, you know, it's cool. I'm going to put this on the stand and then throw that in the cave, as it were. So, yeah. There you go. I don't I don't particularly like the gray barrels. Mm. <laughs> so, But, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to be like, well, this ruins the whole thing for me. I'm done. So, <laughs> Right. Um, and dash hands are going crazy. So, I'm sorry about that. No, you're good. Uh, yeah, Jeff's reaction was great when he opened it. I did see that on Instagram. And yeah, message me afterward, Lindsay, if you want to. Um, but yeah, that's a very wholesome story, and I'm glad you enjoyed it. And thank you for having me on here to shenanigans with you for an hour 17. That wasn't bad, was it? I know I went by a lot faster than I thought it would. So. Yeah. So thank you very much, Brian, for the gift. This is always going to be a thing that I have for all time. I really appreciate it, buddy. Yes, sir. You're welcome. Everybody else. Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you read the notes below, I've got a friend whose wife is battling cancer. And if you can help with the GoFundMe, please, please donate what you can. Um, everybody have a great night. Be safe. Take care of each other. Uh, trans rights are human rights. Have a wonderful day.